I am so excited to be doing this video. I am going to be turning my everyday bedroom decor into my own personal Christmas wonderland and I'm so excited with the way that it turned out. It is slightly different from last year. Actually, it's pretty different. There's only a couple things in here that are the same from last year, so we're going to talk through all of that. I will include the video of how I decorated my bedroom for Christmas last year. It is, like I said, it is different, so you can go check out both videos and um, maybe one will give you inspiration over the other, but I love the way this specific year turned out. It's my favorite. So last year I got this, was it last year or two years ago? I got this Christmas bed, like comforter set, and I think my mom actually got it for me. And as soon as I told you guys in that video where it came from, like it immediately sold out. I know a couple of you bought the same set that I had. But at the time I had a king size bed and now I have a queen size bed. So I wasn't able to use the sheets. I was able to use the pillow covers, which you see there, which are like red snowflakes. And I was able to use the like European sham, the, the bigger pillowcase, whatever they call that, I'm not really sure. Um, so I was able to use those pieces and then I ended up still using the king size comforter, which you'll see here in a second. And I love this print. It's like a Christmas sweater with deer on it and it's red. So I absolutely love it. So I'm basically just putting up all of my, you know, like everyday decor like and the little fall stuff that I had out and I'm trying to just turn it into more of my Christmas farmhouse rustic feel. So I'm keeping with some the pillow, as you can see here, the one that looks like a sweater. That is my everyday pillowcase because I do have like a farmhouse feel. Um, as you can see though, when I'm decorating, I never really know what I'm doing. So I, I'll put something somewhere and then decide, oh, I don't want it there, let's try here. So that's completely normal for decorating, especially if you feel like you don't have a knack. Just try to put it in different places, step back, take a look at it, and then see how you feel about it. So here's that comforter where I'm trying to put it together on the bed. It is a king size, but I love the way that it turned out. Now these are the little trees I hauled from Hobby Lobby. I shared that with you guys a couple of videos ago. Um, they were on sale for 50% off, so both of them ended up being a total of $12. The one thing about Christmas <laughs> fluffing those trees, you guys. I feel like all I've been doing is fluffing, but I absolutely love the simplicity in my bedroom of these trees because essentially I put like a bunch of little random decor on my nightstand, but I didn't film it because I was trying to see if I liked it or not, and I just didn't like it. Now, this little gold reindeer is from Dollar Tree. I just went to the store and just saw it. I didn't get to include it in a haul, but here it is. They have these little tea light gold deers. Are you kidding me? Oh, I absolutely love them and I knew that I wanted them for my bedroom. So now I'm basically hanging up the wreath. I'm using a command strip, but actually it ended up falling off because I didn't hold the command strip down hard enough and I didn't give it a chance to set. So what I ended up doing, you'll see later on that the wreath fell. I just took the little branches from the wreath and I like wrapped it around those little like iron scrolls you see there. Um, but if you're wondering where I got all of my furniture and how I decorate it all, that's actually its own video as well. So I'll include it at the end of this video so that you can see like last year's Christmas, you can see how I decorated my normal decor and where I got everything, like my lamps, the mirrors that you see there. So I'll include that video there for you. Now these are actually little lights I hauled from Target Dollar Spot. And again, I had two because I needed two to drape across a king size bed. But this year, I just needed one for my queen bed.
And here is my little pumpkin. I never really put her in a video, but she showed up. And she's asking me if she can go to a movie. Why she's throwing up the deuces. I'm not quite sure. Oh my god, wow. The teaser trailer for Incredibles is so cute. Should I wear it? <laughs> I'll skip this part, but basically I was telling her just a funny random story. And I have this tree here. I got it from Walmart for $20. Actually, I grabbed the wrong tree, the right size, but it had multicolored lights. So I had to go back and get the clear lights. And that's something that I feel like I'm famous for. I don't pay enough attention in the stuff I buy. And honestly, I need to get myself together. So anyway, I'm just fluffing a tree once again. And I'm going to get an extension cord because I have a plug by my nightstand and I don't really want there to like be like wires or whatever visible so it was just easy to run it underneath the bed and I think it's gorgeous now if you're wondering if it's going to be in my view from the, my tv it's not because I'll just sleep on the other side of the bed and I love being able to look at the tv and see like a little bit of Christmas lights so now I'm just adding some final touches uh, this is just kind of decor I've had throughout the years and those red candle holders actually put tea lights in it and when you do it lights up like the winter landscape it's gorgeous you'll be able to see that in last year's video because I didn't light them up in this video but that's pretty much it you guys I hope that you enjoyed the only new thing that I actually got was the Christmas tree but I did have the fox that you'll see here this is kind of my before and then the after and all of this stuff I've had and hauled and showed you guys in the previous years so again the only new thing is that $20 Christmas tree so if you just do a little bit at a time don't overwhelm yourself don't break the bank if you don't have the money um, little things here and there every single year you start to build goes a long way when I first started decorating when my daughter was born I had nothing and I didn't have anything for years upon years and I just slowly started to add and you're seeing the you know the result of me building year after year so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna be back for more DIYs and more makeovers bye guys